Okay, well, I have to get through, guys. Gotta get through. Get out of the way, buddy. Get out of the way. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. <laughs> that look like this and I think it's because the the electrical aspect of it people don't want to get zapped unplug it I'll show you how to get it nice and clean SOS pad that poster has got to be over 40 years old 40 years old over whoa this is my oh that's amazing my I think I have to I'm not, I'm, I'm not going near the heating pad inside. Yeah. Who knew asbestos inside of a toaster? So, I did just a little final, little scrub down. We're gonna have to get Rin to come over and let me know what she thinks of her new and improved toaster. Look at that. Wow. That's crazy town. Crazy town, you like it? Mm-hmm. Well, Grandma would be proud, right? Grandma would be very proud. So do you think that's your toaster? No. <laughs> no, it is. It's your toaster. Does it work the same? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody has a bag cupboard. Take it all out. You gotta make a mess to clean up. Are you ever gonna use this amount of bags in your lifetime? Probably. We're gonna give them to the thrift store. They'll appreciate it. We didn't find stuff before. Now we're gonna find stuff. Look at a little notebook. It could have magical stuff in it. Good like passwords and um, and all your snacks, storage things. Everything was buried. It's it's amazing how much we fit in here. The cupboard is empty. These are the racks that usually would hold trash bins, recycling bins. And I'm just gonna put them right back in there. I'm just gonna put a Walmart bag. Bins were too tall and you couldn't get stuff in and out. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna work with this. Now we have two storage compartments. This is one thing I didn't expect to find in the cupboard. Pop on silicone self-adhering male external catheter. Why? That's just why. Is this a glow stick? I'm afraid to ask now. Does that go with the other thing? <laughs> We decided this garbage can was better suited to put all of the bags into. They have been reduced greatly thanks to the hard work of my friend. This is a old magic eraser. I just put a little bit of ivory on it. it. Works great for getting marks off of white bumpy stuff like this garbage can. I'm gonna clean all that mess up on I am. But you can make your garbage can like new. Well, just about new. It's cleaner. It's cleaner. So we're gonna put all the things that are not used very often at the back of the cupboard. 
this is not perfect, but, but it is like, cause look, it's findable. She can put a lot in there and access them really easily. Stuff at the back, not used very often. All of the bags are right here. She can just actually go like that and just tip it forward. Stuff you use at the front, stuff you don't use at the back. Sometimes we have obsessions with a few things and uh, apparently kitchen tools are my friend's thing. She, she's got a lot of them. So she's gonna take them out and put them into piles and group them and figure out which one she loves the most. I have to say, you make decisions really quickly when purging. I already went through two bins. I know, it's insane. Two bins. Look at how many spatulas you have. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Four. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of them are warranted, I know. Some of them. Uh-huh. We've decided that this could be a piece of artwork up here. My poor friend. She's just hating me. She obviously had done some work to this. If you put wax paper on top afterwards, then you just take the wax paper off next time you don't have to clean it. You look so much nicer. I'm gonna get it off. I tried Gooby Gone on it. Usually it works good. Okay, so the Gooby Gone wasn't working on this spot. Took the magic eraser and maybe it loosened it up, but I took the magic eraser with ivory and it's gone. Check this out. It, it's gone. I didn't bring the special cleaner and pad for the stove, but I'm just gonna wing it. give it a dry after. I'm not doing an extreme good job because we've got bigger fish to fry. All right, I'm gonna wash this window and, and all this while my friend's doing this. She's like, why, why do you fill the sink up with water? Like, yeah. it, it, it kind of washes the dishes before you get to them, kind of. No one does that. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, down in the comment section. <laughs> who puts water in the sink when they wash dishes and who just runs the water and puts so fun stuff. I yeah. wanna know. I, I'm dying to know. Yeah, you wanna know? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. Clearer than clean. I love the dried flowers too. And a little chicken on a pig's head. <laughs> you got pretty stuff, really pretty. This one is R-rated, it's R-rated. And you like owls, don't you? Because she's got a few owls. But I think this one's dead. <laughs> You think it's got hope? All right. This one's alive. 50% off. How could you tell what you were buying? Because it covers the whole thing. I'm filling up a bucket. And I'm going to put some ivory. Just a couple of drops. Really good for windows. Really good. Mr. Clean Magic Eraser type eraser, whatever brand you choose. These windows sometimes in the kitchen, they can get... Some pretty nasty stuff on, huh? You're watering your plants and stuff, they get splashes. I'm giving this one a thorough wash. All right, so I've rinsed most of the soap off, and then I'm just gonna take a dry cloth. Usually I would take a squeegee. It looks great, other than the dirt on the outside. Can you see the difference? 
I can see a little bit of a difference. It's just all freshened up, that's all. And with all of my friends' pretty things on the windowsill. It really looks pretty. The cupboards, you start at the top and work down to the bottom. Ivory and the Magic Eraser did a lot of the stuff in here. And SOS pads here and there. Just a little bit of dusting, rearranging. Shining. Sink was done with an SOS. Kitchen island, it's so inviting. Can party 